हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक क्रिटिकल स्टेजेस फॉर इरिगेशन सो लेट्स मूव फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ क्रॉप्स वाटर इज द लाइफ ऑफ प्लांट एंड मस्ट बी सप्लाइड इन प्रॉपर क्वांटिटी मोस्ट ऑफ द सोयल्स रिसीव वाटर थ्रू द रेन्स एंड ऑल्सो सप्लीमेंटेड बाई इरीगेशन वॉट इज इरीगेशन irrigation is defined is the artificial application of water to the soil for the purpose of crop production in supplement to rainfall and ground water contribution the interval between two irrigations depends primarily on the rate of soil moisture depletion normally the crop should not allowed to extract more than 50% of available ground water the intervals are shorter in sandy soils compared to heavy soils as heavy soils are having high moisture retention capacity when the water supply is very limited the crops are irrigated only at critical stages optimal soil moisture for plant growth varies with the stages of crop growth certain periods during the crop growth and development are most sensitive to soil moisture stress compared with other stages these periods are known as moisture sensitive periods the term critical period is commonly used to define the stage of growth when plants are more sensitive to shortage of water critical stages for irrigation what is critical stage the growth stage of any crop when plants are most sensitive to the shortage of water and most responsive to the correction of deficiency is called the critical stage in other way critical stage is also defined as the stage at which the water stress causes severe yield reduction is also known as critical stage of water requirement it is also termed as moisture sensitive period moisture stress due to restricted supply of water during the moisture sensitive period or critical stage will irrevocably reduce the yield means once there is reduction we cannot recover after supplying the irrigation provision of adequate water and fertilizer at other growth stage will not even help in recovering the yield loss due to stress at critical periods in general the mid season stage is most sensitive to water shortage because the shortage during this period will be reflected significantly on yield for most of the crops the least sensitive stages are ripening and harvesting except for vegetables like lettuce cabbage etc which needs water up to harvesting under a scare conditions in an irrigation project or in a farm if monocropping is followed with staggered sowing or planting it is better to schedule irrigation to crop which has reached mid season stage since it is the most critical stage is water requirement is concerned all the stages of growth is equally sensitive to soil moisture stress for crops where vegetative parts are of economic importance total growth and yield of perennial plants are the summation of effects of stress at each growth stage however adequate water supply is essential at flower bud initiation flowering and fruit set flower bud formation however increase due to restricted water supply prior to flower bud initiation in the case of citrus and mango for realizing maximum benefit from the scarce irrigation water irrigation is to be scheduled at moisture sensitive periods by withholding irrigations at other periods of lesser sensitivity such irrigation schedules along with improved practices increase the water use efficiency in crop production peak consumptive use and critical period the critical stages do not usually coincide with the periods of peak consumptive use by crops at these critical stages crop require more water as their water needs are at the higher level 
Critical stages of water requirement are usually the turning points in life cycle. This can be represented by a sigmoid or S-shaped curve. The curve shows two most important points of change in the growth rate like the point of inflection and the point of deflection. The point of inflection indicates a sudden spurt in vegetative growth and the point of deflection represents the slowing down of vegetative growth and initiation of the reproductive phase. Crop demand adequate water at these stages of vegetative growth and initiation of reproductive phase and cannot afford to extend water stress without serious reduction in growth and yield. These two stages of crop life therefore considered as the most critical stages of water requirement. Determination of critical periods of water need. For this purpose, a crop is subjected to predetermined water stress at different stages of growth and then the corresponding yield reductions are considered. It is then related to the crop that has not been subjected to any water stress and irrigated according to the normal schedule. So in case of determination and practical, we have to compare the one crop which is having the normal growing conditions with adequate water supply and second crop with critical and scarcity of water to determine the critical stages. To miss irrigation at different stages of the crop and then relating the corresponding the yield reductions with the yield from control plot which is irrigated normally. So we have to compare the control plot and the plot where the crop is passing through a scarcity of water and stress. Period at which yield reductions are significant are considered as the critical period of water need in the life of the crop. Now we will go through the different crops critical stages. First cereals and millets. In rice, panicle initiation stage, heading and flowering are the most sensitive stages, critical stage for irrigation. Sorghum, flowering and grain formation stage. In bajra, pearl millet, flowering and grain formation stage. In case of maize, just prior to tasseling and grain filling. In case of kumbu, heading and flowering. In ragi, finger millet, primordial initiation and flowering. In case of wheat, crown root initiation, tillering and booting are critical stages for water requirement. And in barley, tillering, boot stage and grain filling which is also known as duff stage are the critical stages. Now critical stages in legume crops. In alfalfa, the critical stage is immediately after cutting for hay crops and flowering for seed crops. In case of beans, flowering and pod setting stage. In pea, flowering and early pod formation stage. In case of chickpea, late vegetative phase, pre-flowering and flowering stages are critical. In case of green gram, flowering and pod setting. Black gram also same flowering and pod setting stage. In case of bursting, after each cutting, we have to go for irrigation because these are the critical stages. Critical stages in oil seed crops, in case of groundnut, flowering, pig initiation stage, penetration and pot development stages are most critical stages. In case of sesame, blooming to maturity, in sunflower, two weeks before and after flowering, soybean, blooming and seed formation stage, in case of safflower, roses stage which are also known as flower initiation to flowering stage. In case of castor, full growing period is the critical age it required the water most. Now critical stages in vegetable crops. In case of onion, bulb formation to maturity stage. In case of tomato, flowering and footing stages are most critical stages. In case of chilies, flowering stage. In cabbage, head formation to maturity, cauliflower, Cut formation and enlargement stage. In potato, tuber initiations to maturity stage. 
in case of carrot root enlargement in brinjal flowering and fruit development after each harvest is critical in cucumber flowering and fruit development stage in case of windy okra flowering and pod development stage in case crops like cotton flowering and ball formation stages are critical for irrigation in case of sugarcane maximum vegetative growth stage in tobacco immediately after transplanting is most critical in other crops like coconut nursery stage root enlargement is most critical in case of banana throw out the growth because banana crop required frequent irrigations in citrus flowering fruit setting and enlargement stage in case of mango flowering and fruit settings are most critical stages in coffee flowering and fruit development stage pineapple vegetative growth grape vegetative growth and in case of guava period of fruit growth is most sensitive stage at critical stages favorable water level should be ensured through timely irrigations so this presentation was all about critical stages for irrigation hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much i have given you my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedbacks thank you